Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to attach your zipper if you have a standard size zipper. So in the photos that I used in the tutorial, I'm using an extra long zipper. And with an extra long zipper, you can see that you're going to have lots of extra sticking out both sides of the panel. And I do this to save myself some sanity because I don't have to unzip and rezip the zipper as I'm sewing it to the fabric. I can just see the zipper head is way out of the way. I can just use my zipper foot and zip right down the line without having to wrangle it. But if you don't have extra long zippers, and if you got a kit from me, yours are extra long. But if you have the standard size zippers that the pattern calls for, what you're going to do is you're just going to center that. So here's the front of the zipper, the front side of my panel, my first panel, and you're just going to center it. Here's the very end. You can see this little metal bit here and the, the metal bit for the, the stoppers for the head is up here. I want to make sure I have at least a quarter of an inch on either side to allow myself to actually sew the bag together. Because if you hit these metal stops right here, you're going to break a needle and you're going to need safety goggles. Believe me, I've done it. So you're going to center it as best as possible, leaving yourself a quarter inch on either end from the stops. Okay. All right. And then you can either um, glue base, which is just a thin little line of glue here, just on the very tippy edge that keeps everything taut, nice and, and, and together. You can pin it, all right, which is what most people are going to do. All right. So... I actually don't pin or glue. I just eye it and use my hands, but I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to put in a few pins. So here's what you're going to do first. After you've got it nice and aligned, you're going to want to unzip it. Because if you start zipping, if you start sewing from the top and that zipper head is up there, you're not going to be able to get through it. All right, my pins are in the way, so I'll just have to redo it. Okay, and now you can see that I'm pretty clear all the way until I get to about down here, all right? So now I'm gonna head over to the machine and I'm going to, because I'm only doing the first panel, this is the beginner easy way to do it, is you attach your zipper first to your first panel, right sides facing, right side of the zipper to right side of your panel, and then you do a basting stitch along the edge. And then you're going to add your interior pocket lining. Now if you want, you can go ahead and attach your interior pocket lining and sew all the way down the way that, um, all the way down like I'm getting ready to show you. Uh, but this is the best easy way to do it if you're or nervous about zippers. All right, so moving over to the sewing machine with a, just a slightly longer um, stitch length. I'm going to sew, this is a very narrow foot, it's not a standard foot. I'm sewing about an eighth of an inch from the edge and I'm sewing all the way down until I get to right about where I know that my zipper is going to start getting in the way. And because my have a really narrow foot, and if you have a zipper foot, this will be easy. All you do is you can lift your presser foot, and if you want, you want to lift your presser foot, presser foot all the way up, it'll usually have a little extra, and then zip your zipper up, bring it back down, and finish the entire way down. Cut your thread. Now, come back over to your table. Again, this is the beginner friendly way. Now you're going to want to take your zipper lining, your little zipper pocket lining. You want to line it up with your zipper and pin. And actually at this point you can go ahead and unzip your zipper because it's already attached. We can go ahead and unzip it so that we're ready to start. We're going to line it up with the, the same edge. Put a couple pins in it. You can glue baste it again whichever you're more comfortable with. Go back over to the machine. And this time, I'm gonna use a quarter inch seam allowance. And I'm going to sew. I sew over my pins. Don't do that. You're not supposed to do that. Let me get all the way down here until I hit, oops, I hit my zipper head almost again, and then I'm gonna lift this up, lift my presser foot up, and I'm going to move, move that panel all the way and zip it out of the way. Oops, it got caught, that's okay. 
I'm going to zip it back up out of the way. And you notice how I left my needle in the down position. And I could swivel this all the way around. I'm going to put it back in line on my quarter inch seam. And I'm going to finish sewing all the way down and cut it. Take my pins out. And then you'll finger press this down, finger press this. And now you can do your top stitching. You shouldn't have to move that out of the way to do your top stitching and I like to do about an eighth of an inch from the from the top again you can take this to the ironing board and do a warm iron on it if you do a too hot iron or you leave it too long you will melt your nylon zipper and there you go that is your first panel so now you're going to attach your second panel this way just like this Let's show you how to get that done. Come over here. Remember, your second panel is going to end up being like this, so you want right sides together. Line it up on this edge and the top edge and pin. Okay, and because I'm right-handed, I'm gonna wanna start sewing from here. And again, my head is here so I can unzip it. Come back over to the machine. This is the beginner-friendly way. If you wanna go ahead and sandwich your lining piece, you can. I'm gonna do my eighth of an inch here. Don't sew over your pins like I do. It's one of my really bad habits. And I get almost to the bottom where I know I'm gonna need. I'm going to zip everything back up get everything back in alignment and stitch and keep going from there okay guys thanks